Welcome back beer tubers. Today I'm finally taking a look at Firestone Walker's latest beer in their uh, seasonal series and this is Easy Jack, a what they call a summer session IPA. Why summer? Well, they don't have enough hops to brew this year round which is a damn shame because uh, I'd love to see a session IPA year round but Easy Jack clocks in at 4.5% I forget the IBUs on it. I think the, all the info is on their website. I forgot to look it up before starting this review. But they're using some fun hops. They're using some New Zealand hops. I believe Nelson probably is one of them. They're using two new German varietals. I think one's Mandarina, Mandarina Bavarian and the other is Hulan Malone. I forget. There's also a third cool German hop that's out there um, that I'm forgetting the name of. I think it's Halotau Blanc. That might be the one they're using in this one actually. Um, and mosaic as well. So some really cool hops. Pours out uh, a very clear light golden color. It does look like a pilsner. It makes me wonder if they're using pilsner malts. Very clear. Bright white head. Let's get the aroma on it. Oh yeah, it smells good. This bottle isn't as fresh as I liked it to be, but it still smells great. They, they dry out the hell of this beer. And you can smell it. Um, Really fruity, floral. It's got some earthiness, some some dankness to it. A lot of melon, uh, floral, white grape. Tons of peach, neck like a nectarine, uh, mandarin orange, sweeter orange notes um, like tangerine. Yeah, just. A lot going on on the aroma, no malt character. Well, let's dive in. Cheers. Oh yeah, just hops, hops, hops. Slight, slight sweet malt characteristic. Like a little bit of breadiness on the finish. And, it, and it's pretty clean. It kind of goes away quick. Um, it's not a beer that's going to linger around a whole lot. This isn't a sipping beer. I'm going to go through this bottle in no time, so um, very light bodied though. Yeah, it falls in the nose really well. It's very um, stone, well it has a lot of stone fruit character. Stone fruit's white grape, so that uh, peach, nectarine type of character is really present. Some of the sweeter citrus, that mandarin orange, tangerine characters in there. The white grape comes through the floral character. Uh, it's not overly dank on the flavor, but you do get a little bit of that resiny character. Definitely has some melon characteristics, and I can't quite pinpoint it other than generic melon. It's been a while, but um, maybe a little honeydew kind of thing going on. But anyway, some nice melon characteristics in the hops. Um, works really well with uh, just letting those hops do their thing. Doesn't get, let the malt get in the way. That being said, I, I could use a little bit malt character to kind of back it up. Um, four and a half percent is very, very light, easy drinking stuff. I know people have talked about it being thin. I don't know. I don't think it being overly thin. It's four and a half percent, and they want the hops to, to do the work and be the showcase and not have a whole lot of malt getting away, so I can't fault them for that. But overall, I think this is delicious. Uh, uh, a minus A type of beer for me. Uh, it's right there with Pizza Ports Ponto, Stone's Go-To IPA. Although I would say those are more bitter than this beer. This beer is pretty light on the bitterness. I think they're a lot uh, relying more on the late edition hops and the dry hops to kind of do the work for uh, the hop flavors. But um, yeah, this one's maybe a little easier drinking for a lot of people who are not a fan of the big robust bitterness that some of the other session IPAs have. but. Yeah, I'd love to do blind tasting with a bunch of them because a lot of them are coming out these days. Highly welcome beers. Highly recommend checking this out if you can get it. And even though this is the first bottle from my six pack I bought, I should have probably bought a second one. So, all right, it's going to wrap this one up. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.